Welcome to Off the Court, a show dedicated to making you the best version of yourself as a player and as a person. I'm Coach Jack, owner of Close the Gate Hoops, the number one basketball training company in the state of Wisconsin. If you're trying to take your life and game to the next level, this is the podcast for you. Let's get it. What up, gatekeepers? Back at you with another episode of Off the Court. Today, I have a very interesting topic that is... um, a very Eastern philosophy, meaning this isn't talked about a ton in America, but it's definitely becoming more mainstream as we continue to progress in terms of becoming better at our observation of our thoughts. So today I'm going to teach you something that's called watching the thinker. So if you've ever become stressed or overwhelmed or felt that bad about yourself after performing poorly after a game, um, a lot of the times what you're doing is your inner dialogue is actually the one tearing you down. So the inner dialogue is whenever you're using the word I in your thoughts, right? So, man, I am just performing. I cannot make a shot today, right? Or um, I'm being a terrible teammate. Um, I suck at this, right? Just some very simple examples of inner dialogue that we use constantly to actually tear ourselves down. The way that we can improve upon this, you guys, and actually increase performance by watching the thinker is when we become observational of our thoughts, we're going to become more present and we're going to be aware of what thoughts are useful, right? So a great way to use our inner dialogue um, is whenever we we can hear, right? We want to watch the thinker to the best of our ability as much as we possibly can. It's going to take you time to get into this type of routine, right? But once we start to watch the thinker, okay, we want to ask ourselves, is this thought useful, right? So a lot of times for me, I have reoccurring thoughts. Like I'll think of an idea literally 20 times over. And the second time you think of it, you can ask yourself, you know, is this thought useful, right? And so this is a benefit of how watching the thinker can actually do good for us. Um, But this is extremely beneficial, especially for when we're performing in sports, right? When we're thinking, when we're observing, you know, what we're thinking in terms of our inner dialogue, we can ask ourselves, is this a useful thought, right? Thinking about a previous play, you know, I totally screwed up on that last play. If we can observe that thought and then ask ourselves if it's useful, we're going to totally become aware of what's helping us and what's actually hurting us, right? Because all the work we put in for basketball, whether it's mental training or basketball training or life coaching, right, whatever work we're putting in, it's to better ourselves, right? And so when we can become observational and watch that thinker, we're going to better ourselves by knowing what thoughts are useful for us and what thoughts are not useful for us. Um, So I encourage all you gatekeepers to start watching the thinker. Like every time throughout your day, just try and constantly watch that thinker. What is your inner inner dialogue telling yourself, right? Is is it a positive thought or is it a negative thought? Is it a useful thought? Is it telling yourself you need to do something for the 20th time, right? Do you really think that's a useful thought to tell yourself 20 times over that you need to do something, right? Like we talked about in our previous episode, the gap, right? Then we can become recognizing um, of what we need to apply in our learning. But all in all, gatekeepers, I just encourage you to start watching the thinker and ask yourself, is this thought useful to me? Because you're going to see crazy changes in your game in terms of your improvement if you start to observe what are useful and what are non-useful thoughts. And just ask yourself, you know, if I were to talk to how I talk to myself in my head, right, my inner dialogue, would I want to talk to someone else like that? Right. So a lot of times our inner dialogue is taking us down. Right? It can be it can be an asshole at times. Um, so ask yourself, you know, would I want to talk to another person like this. Um, That's a great way to know if your thinker, right, is beneficial or non-beneficial to you. So I encourage all you gatekeepers today, start watching the thinker. I'm out. Peace.